How does our diet affect our ability to manage change? Hi, I'm Amy Wanninger from Lead at Any Level. I wanna start this session by saying I'm neither a doctor nor a nutritionist, but if you are having some trouble with your diet, it may be affecting your, your ability to manage stress. For one week, I want you to track your food intake. Now, this isn't a weight loss program, so you don't have to write down every single thing you eat, but I do want you to be mindful of, are you eating breakfast, lunch, dinner? How much are you snacking and how much caffeine are you consuming? And also how much alcohol? Right now, it, during this pandemic, a lot of people are, are reporting, anecdotally at least, that they're eating a lot more because they're home um, and they're stress eating. A lot of us are emotional eaters. I am too. Um, that we're not eating the right things because it's so much easier to eat junk food right now than it is to you know, have fresh fruits and vegetables on hand when we can't go to the stores frequently. Um, but also that people are consuming more alcohol than they normally do. And I know a lot of people say, well, you know, there's nowhere to go. Why not? But alcohol really does diminish your body's ability to deal with stress. Um, and regular consumption of too much alcohol, as I'm sure you all know, can contribute to bigger health problems, um, bigger socioeconomic problems, bigger relationship problems, and bigger self-esteem problems. So be mindful just for the next week. Um, what are you eating for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks? And how much caffeine and alcohol are you consuming? In the next episode, we'll talk about assessing your eating habits over the week. So if you uh, tracked last week your sleep, or maybe you're doubling up and you're going to do them at the same time, be sure you're tracking your sleep and your uh, food and alcohol and caffeine intakes. Those are going to be really important. Here's the thing. When we're stressed, our body's using all kinds of resources. And if we don't have the right fuel in our system, we don't have the right resources to deal with the stress around us or the stress that's coming in. So really think about you are what you eat, right? Your body's metabolizing food, turning that, that energy into cells that it's reproducing, you know, to create um, new cells in your body. So new skin cells, you know, new, um, new blood cells, all that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure that you're putting good stuff in so that you have the capacity to fight off infection to make sure that you are um, as strong and as healthy as you can be right now. So take care of yourself, watch your sleep, watch your food, alcohol, and caffeine intake, and I will see you tomorrow. If you're interested, um, this book, Moving from Panic to Purpose, is available um, on Amazon and at shop.leadatanylevel.com. You are also um, encouraged, if this is helpful for you, to like this video and subscribe um, on YouTube. And I will see you tomorrow. We will talk about um, how to assess your food intake and what to do to move forward. Thanks so much.